Welcome to another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to simulate an eye with matrix and tracer. First, let's increase the segments. Now add an arc and group it. Now select the arc, increase the radius to 100 and the angle to 240. And set the plane to ZI. And set the arc starting point to the center of the axis. Now go to MoGraph and add the cloner and drag the group under it. Now go to Mode and select Radial and increase the count. And set the radius to minus 150. Now let's add the connect and the spline mask and connect them. Now go to MoGraph and add the matrix. Set the mode to object and drag the spline mask. Now go to frame 0 and change the count to 2. Then select loop and set the end to 1. Now set the offset variation to 65. Now go to offset and set the keyframe at the start. And then move 90 frames and set the offset to 30. Now go to the end frame and set the offset to 85. And go to transforms and set a small size for the moment. Now go to MoGraph and add Tracer. Now select the cloner and add random effector. And send the rotation to 35 degrees. Now select the matrix and add a new random effector. And set the eye position to 5. And go to fall off and add the torus. And change the radius and the thickness. And go to remapping and set invert. Now duplicate the random and set the position to 3. Now select and group them and duplicate the group. And set the rotation to 45 degrees. Now go to cloner and decrease the count. Now go to matrix and move the second keyframe to 100. And set the count to 10. And change the variation. Now go to the end frame and change the offset. Now go to random and change the rotation to 45 degrees. Now go to the second random and change the position to 4 and the last random the position to 7. Now duplicate the group and set the rotation 90 degrees. And go to the cloner and decrease the count. Now go to matrix and move the second keyframe to 120. Now change the variation and go to the end frame and set the offset to 65. Now go to random and change the rotation to 35 degrees. And go to the second random and change the position to 3. And to the last random the position to 6. Perfect. Now let's add the torus and increase the radius and the segments. Now let's deselect the matrix for the moment and let's go and add the sphere and increase the radius and the segments and let's create our islands by cutting the sphere and adding a cloud surface and setting the size and the thickness. Now connect them. and set the axis to the center and set the position and the size on the sphere and animate it set the first position to frame 0 then move to frame 120 and change the position and the size and then go to frame 220 and set the end of the position and the size now let's add the subdivision and drag the sphere under perfect Now that we're done with the simulation, we can create our materials. First, let's add a new material and drag it to the torus. And deselect everything. 
Now let's create a new redshift material for the lens. Let's add a bump map and select a bump input and set the scale to 0.1. Now go to material and set the color to black and the weight to 0. Now I change the shear roughness to 0.75 and change the refraction color. Now deselect link to reflection and set the weight to 0.75 and the roughness to 0.05 and increase the samples and the IOR and drag the material to the lens. Perfect. Now go to the tracer and add a redshift object tag by pressing shift plus C and set the mode to strips and adjust the scale. Now go to the second tracer and add again redshift object tag. Set the mode to strips and adjust the scale. Now go to the last tracer and add again a redshift object tag and set the mode to strips and adjust the scale. Perfect. Now let's add an incandescent redshift material and change the color. Now duplicate the material and go and change the color and the intensity to 5. And to the last material, increase the temperature and the intensity and change the color. Now let's add the material to our tracer. Perfect. Now go to matrix and add a redshift object tag and set the mode to points and increase the size. Now add a color material from our tracer and now copy and paste the tag to our matrix and add their color from the tracer. Perfect. Now let's add the dome light and deselect the background and add your HDR sky. And change the tint and the exposure. Perfect. Now let's add our camera and change the focal length and the sensor. And set the focus distance to 200 and your f stop to 1.6. Now go to camera tag, bokeh, and enable it. And set the aspect to 2. Now go to bloom and enable it and decrease the threshold and increase the softness perfect now let's take a look of what we created yeah this looks great thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial